All right, guys, uh, this evening I want to show you a little option here for the uh, MSD power grid. Um, I have the software open for that right now, and uh, that's a pretty popular ignition software. And, uh, I help a lot of people with this, and I get asked this question all the time, which is, um, how do I see some of my other runs? How do I overlay runs so that I could compare where I'm at now to... Uh, changes that I want to make. So I've got this set. You can see I'm on ignition timing here and, and launch retard. And these instructions are not anywhere in any of the MSD uh, paperwork. So it's really kind of hard. I had to figure it out for myself. But um, this is just a just a junk timing graph that I've thrown up here. Just some dots and some lines to to form this timing graph. So. Let's say this is what I have now, and I just made a run here, and, and I want to uh, make some changes. But you can see if I move this, you know, it changes the line. It moves the line away from where it's at, and I can't really, once I move it and start changing the shape of this graph, I can't really see where I was. So what I want to do is I want to um, have a locked version of this timing uh, trace here so that I can move this one and see subtle changes in the run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to file and I'm going to export this and this is the newer version of the software so it's going to say uh, retard versus time which is checked which is what I want to export. So then it's going to open up this window here and it's going to ask me where I want to export this to and um, you can see this is a, I mean, you can I don't know if you can see it or not. This is a CSV file. So a CSV is uh, it's a, an Excel based. Basically, this program is just an Excel based uh, numerical graph. Is all this thing is. So this is exporting this as a CSV, which is comma separated value. So it's going to save this CSV so that I can pull it up later and lock it. So it's just given this generic name here. So I'm going to rename this. Um, so I like to name everything in a certain order so I can tell what it is. And we get guys all the time that send us files that are named with some kind of ridiculous uh, long extension that uh, is hard to understand. So I usually like to use the track that I'm at. So let's say um, uh, I'm at Charlotte. I'll just use the first three letters of the track. Then I'm going to space. And then uh, this may be Q3 and then a space. And then the date in six characters, so 0420016. So I can easily look at this and say, okay, this was Charlotte Q3, uh, April 20th, 2016. So I'm going to save this. Okay, so now I've exported this and I've saved it under that file name. So I'm going to go over here to this little window here that says load from file and click this little plus sign. And that's going to open up that window, and then I can see here where that I just renamed that uh, file. So I'm going to click on that and open it. So if I if I go over here now, I can see that this is open. See that file name is Charlotte Q3, April 20th. So if you if you can kind of envision this, you can almost see it's purple because the red and blue are overlaid. So this red is locked now. And so I'm going to go in here and I can say, okay, well, at this part of the run, I was having a little trouble. I want to take a little timing out. Well, if I grab this and drag it around, you can see that that red line is locked there, which is where I was. So I can make these changes. Now, this blue line is my active, uh, my active retard trace. So this is what I'm going to put in the car. Or I think I'm going to put in the car. So I can jack around with this and say, okay, well, I need a little more timing out here or right here. I want to put some in. I want to increase this ramp here and pull this back in and I can use some more timing right here. So I've pulled some out here and I've put some more, I put it back in quicker to get back to zero or I can pull this line down here and keep that timing out for the rest of the run. So this is where I was. The red line's where I was and the blue line is where I am now, what I'm currently going to put into the grid. And this is just a graph of that, of these dots over here. And um, if I click on that, I can actually, if you don't like that red color, you can pull up this little 
chart here and change the color of that. So, um, and that, that's important too because sometimes I'll have five or six of these opened up. So um, I might go, okay, well, this green one is where I was at on Q3 and this is where I wanna be for Q4. So now if I wanna save this one, I can do the same thing. I'm just gonna file and export and click OK. And then um, this is gonna be Q4. So now I can do the same thing here and I can open up that Q4 and that's going to overlay, I'm going to change this color to red. So that's going to overlay that one I did. So if I'm not certain where I want to be, I can actually export that. And then if I think, ah, I'm not really sure, maybe I want to put this timing back in here. So I can move this back up, you know, because you change your mind a thousand times for the next run. So I can mess around with this and say, okay, well, this is where I think I want to be. And before I put it in the actual download it to the grid, I can move this around. But it's, it's a nice feature and you just have to have the run open that you want to save. So I, I do this for every run. I have these saved. So I have a whole stack of these things that I can go back to and then I can reference my data. I might even open up something from last year or the year before and say, oh yeah, you know, when I was at Charlotte, the conditions were about the same last year. So I want to go back at Q2 where I went, ran, you know, a really good run, maybe a career best or something. I want to open that up. So I want to reference that and say, okay, well, track's about the same, the air's about the same, and this is the this is what I did last year, and the car ran 579, and I want to duplicate that again. So I can say, well, the track's a little better, a little worse, so I'm going to make a few changes here. So nice little option that uh, very few people know about, and I thought I'd do a little video on it because I um, I get this all the time, and I. I have to explain it over the phone, which is not very convenient to do. So thought I'd throw this out there, but it's really nice because there's no limits. You can open up as many of these as you want. And if you want to get rid of it, you can just hit the minus sign and, and get rid, you know, delete it all together. And so if I want to get rid of this Q3, I can get rid of that. This puts me back to the trace that I'm at now. And if I think I want to see it again, just hit the plus sign and go back and open up Q3. And there it is. And, and you can't mess with that. That one's locked. That one, you can't change it. So it, it's, it's exported as that CSV, so it's non-editable. So um, anyway, just a short little uh, uh, note on uh, how to overlay those runs and uh, kind of keep track of where you're at.